players outside of Japan consider Final Fantasy II as a sequel to Final Fantasy. However, that was in fact the fourth game in the series. The actual Final Fantasy II, originally appearing on the family computer in Japan, would not see release in North America until Final Fantasy Origins in 2003. The story begins as Firion, Maria, Guy, and Leon flee the marauding Black Knights of the Palamitian Empire. They soon meet a resistance struggling against the Empire's tyranny, and so set out on a quest to restore peace to the world. In a departure from role-playing game conventions, Final Fantasy II's battle system had no experience points and no levels. Instead, the game employed a unique use-based system. As characters used a specific class of weapons such as swords, their skill with that type of weapon would improve. Of course, without character levels, attributes such as strength, hit points, and magic points needed a new method of advancement as well. The answer? Actions taken in battle determined the development of these attributes. For example, characters that used a large number of magic points to cast spells would see their available magic points increase as the game progressed. Final Fantasy II's innovations extended even to character interactions. During conversations, occasionally key words would appear. These could be memorized and then discussed with other characters to advance the story. This heightened the player's sense of involvement and represented a true revolution for its time. As players explore the world, they meet a wide array of characters, many of whom offer guidance or even join players in battle. These encounters provided some of Final Fantasy II's most dramatic and touching moments. One of these characters bears special mention, the now legendary Sid, who marks his first appearance in the series here as the pilot of an airship who's always ready to ferry the party across the globe. Though the world was vast, players had many choices when deciding how to get around. The canoe and boat made their return and were joined by a snow craft to cross the icy fields of the north. The airship too made an encore appearance, but the list wouldn't be complete without what has become a hallmark of the series, the Chocobo. A game of many firsts, the Chocobo also made its debut in Final Fantasy II. Much more than an easy way to get from point A to point B, this lovable yellow bird has become the de facto mascot of the series.